Welcome back. So, got a small little mail day here. Um, three packages, uh, a group of cards here, and two singles with an example on top, which I already owned, and you've already seen. Um, so, I wanted to start with the most important package first, um, and that was a very nice package from Austin Farmer. Um, He's a young guy, he has a YouTube channel, um, right now he's taking a little break off uh, from making videos so he can focus on his studies, which I 100% agree with, um, but really good guy, is in the live, a lot of live streams, great conversation, a huge amount of prospect knowledge, so I encourage you to uh, subscribe to his channel for when he does kind of start making videos again, and... Feel free to pick his brain on any prospects as well. So I've sent a couple packages to him at this point. And so he wanted to send a few things back. And his note uh, says, Mr. Tiford, Sean, by the way, um, I greatly appreciate everything you've sent as well as what you have sent to other members of the card community. Your kindness does not go unnoticed. Thank you for all your great content as well. I hope you enjoy the cards I have sent. Sincerely, Austin Farmer. So, let's see what he sent. Which, honestly, anything they send is appreciated. I don't expect items to be sent back, uh, but they are appreciated when, when they are. So, we have Rowdy Telez from Bowman this year, rookie. A nice foil uh, Telez rookie. He's from Series 2. Les from Chrome. A random Don Sutton. It's an earlier one. Hall of Famer. Nice Brad Osmus. Uh, Auto. He told me about this one. So now I'll go into the PC. Nice Sandy Koufax. Uh, 1966 tops. So 65 pitching leaders. So Koufax, Cloninger, and Drysdale. Very nice. And another 66 tops, Sandy Koufax. It's a nice uh, miscut, but it's still Koufax. The corner's actually pretty good on it. 89 Donner's Griffey rookie. Bill Bichette from, I believe, 2017. Yep, Bowman. A base to Les, a couple base to Les. Oh, one's a regular Series 2. Right, series 2, yep. The other one's an opening day. And a Bowman Platinum to Les rookie. So, Austin, thank you very much. Um, again, this is why I get stuff like this from anybody. This is automatically, without question, the best mail, day, mail I could have gotten for any particular day. Um, I greatly appreciate um, sending, you sending me these. And once again, anybody watching, I encourage you to subscribe to him. Um, if you catch him in group chats, again, pick his brain on prospects. He does know his stuff, um, even though he d may exaggerate on uh, Clint Frazier a little bit. So thank you, Austin, um, for the package. And let me so show you a couple more cards um, that I picked up in the mail. So first I wanted to start off, this is a card you've already seen, um, but this is a 1943 uh, M&P and P and Company, or sorry, M.P. and Company, uh, Hank Greenberg. I like this card because it talks basically not about his stats for the 42 season, but the fact that... Um, He's basically serving in the military at the time this card was created. Um, and obviously Greenberg's the PC. So what I did find, what, what did show up in the mail today, was a very nice um, 1943 MP and Company Hank Greenberg hand cut. And it's authentic. So there's no grade associated with it. The colors are not nearly as sharp. Um... 
but it's nice clean sharp corners on it or pretty sharp corners another example um, very clear on the back legible uh, and inexpensive since it's authentic and without a grate so saw it for really not much whatsoever actually cheaper than if I bought one raw in basically this condition um, so I figured I'd just pick up the slab and add it to the PC. And the other card I picked up was another 1955 Topps Sandy Koufax rookie card. So this is a PSA 4. It says it has a mark on it. Now, the pictures when I on eBay were not very good. The center is actually halfway decent on it. Not great. But decent. There's border all the way around. The colors are sharp. Corner's actually pretty good. A little bit of dingy on this side. A little bit of rounding on it. But then, again, it had the designation on it that it had a mark on it. Now, the only mark that I can find is right here. And if that's the mark... I am absolutely thrilled um, because that does not impact the look of the card. Uh, if I'm holding it like this, you barely, barely see it if you know where to look. But other than that, it's a beautiful card. Very clean on front and back. Nothing on the front, so it displays very nice. And it's in a four. Um, and I paid way under where it should have gone. Even with this grade, with the designation, it was an auction. I threw a opening bid number at it and no one else bid on it. So I think it was basically because of the picture, the way the picture was taken on eBay, there was a reflection right here. So you could see like a white outline, or it was up here, I think. There's like a white outline because it caught the reflection something. So my guess is that a lot of people looking at the card thought that was the mark on the card. Um, I happened to click on the pictures, take a closer look, and it looked like a reflection. Uh, I wasn't 100% certain, but it had the same mark here as when you took a picture, or they took a picture of the back. It had the same mark. Um, so I took a chance. I was correct that it was simply reflection. And in exchange, I got a beautiful Sandy Koufax rookie card for dirt cheap. So, so that's the mail day I got for you today. Um, two PC pickups. Going opposite ways. And a very, very nice and very generous um, mail day from Austin Farmer. So, and of course, I'll put the Kofax on top to just have some continuity between all the items. So, once again, I thank you very much for joining me. And please remember to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market or a YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. The best way to have fun is to be an active member of this community so find your way to participate whether it's making videos watching and commenting going to live streams group chats going to your lcs or local card show or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends the more active you are the more you will get out of this wonderful community the generosity the support the knowledge the different cards you'll see, the different cards you'll get. It's just absolutely phenomenal experience. And if you're not active already and simply flipping cardboard at home, you are sorely missing out. So find your way of being active and you will reap the benefits like you really can't imagine uh, without being a part, an active part of it. So I thank you once again for joining me. I hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.